let's get curious about language through morphology. The first thing to remember as we do this work is that spelling is all about meaning. And because meaning is its primary function, we cannot rely solely on one part of orthography. We have to look at all parts that make up orthography. So orthography, the study of English spelling, is composed of morphology, which are words and their parts and how they're put together, phonology, that grapheme phoneme correspondence, the sounds that we hear in words, and etymology, which is the story or the history of the word and where that word spelling uh, may have come from. So what is morphology? It's simply the study of words and their parts. Morphemes are the smallest piece of a word that still maintains meaning. Morphemes can be categorized into two sections, bases and affixes. Every single word has a base. Some words are just the base with no affixes attached to it. Bases can be further divided into several categories, free bases, found bases, and there's also twin bases. Affixes are typically thought of as prefixes and suffixes, but we, can't, we cannot forget the connecting vowel letters that come into play as we start digging into some of the different words that we use in English spelling. Just like when we're building blocks, we can add parts to the base in order to create new words. The words that we build out from a base using a prefix or a suffix or multiple prefixes or multiple suffixes or some combination of that, becomes part of that word's family. And so that collection of words that share uh, a base in meaning um, and they share uh, a structure in spelling are considered a word family. Sue Heglin tells us that morphology is not an advanced topic. It's the foundation of the entire spelling system. And with that in mind, there is no reason to wait to teach students about something that is the foundation of the entire system. We can start talking about morphology with students who are at the very beginning stages of learning about words. When we look at the knowledge breakdown that is present in the curriculum, it provides us a really great insight into how we might develop and explore morphology with our students. So if your students do not have a particularly deep background, you can look towards previous grades for a place to start. We spell English words by systematically combining one or more structural units. Those structural units are called morphemes. And you will see in the new curriculum that the word morpheme or morphology is explicitly mentioned in grades one through six in the learning outcome. It is not mentioned explicitly in kindergarten, but looking at words and the parts that build words is a great way for students to explore and understand new words. Even though morphology is the word that is used within the curriculum, we have to remember that we can't focus on morphology in isolation. We have to talk about morphology at the same time that we're talking about phonology, at the same time that we're looking at etymology. All of these pieces work together to help us understand why words are spelled the way they are. For more information around morphology and this particular concept, please contact your local consortia office as we would be happy to provide support in whatever capacity you need.